So here's my Harbor Freight sand, uh, sandblaster and some of the modifications I've made to it. Uh, first thing is we made a dust collector for it. And you can see that here. What I ended up doing was using two um, Lowe's uh, buckets. I took and on the top I mounted a two inch angle into it and then another two inch coming out the side so that it comes off of there, goes down into the side, comes out the top, and out to the uh, to the vacuum. And if you look, I can kind of pull it apart and show what I did. Because you have to cut the bucket down to be able to fit it on. So see I cut it to the rim right there. So you can see where a regular bucket is and where I cut this one off so it would fit inside of it. So I did that and then see it comes in off the sandblaster there and I took a sign like a for sale sign. This was Carla for mayor sign. And so that's two inch with a two inch coupler. So I just put a coupler on each side and that allowed me to glue the PVC fitting in. So then see it hits this at a little off of uh, a 90. So it hopefully creates a spin. And then you can kind of see also, I put this in. So this is kind of angled right there. And then you can see it's angled that way also. So what the angle does hopefully is pushes the air down into the other bucket. Then when the air starts to come back up, see I've cut a circle that's about got an inch, between an inch, inch and a half off of the bucket going around and it's about six inches off the bottom. So that way it can't suck the dust straight up into the thing. It hopefully hits this thing and then drops back into the bucket. And you can kind of see it's working because we already have sand and some baking soda in there because I had baking soda before the sand. So what I did to accomplish this was I, you can see, I put an inch and a half PVC into it, put a coupler on it, ran it out to a 90 up, and then another 90 coming up that I could hook a hose to. So you can kind of, hopefully you can see it. I'll shut the light off if you can't. Yeah, the light probably makes it a little bright there. But see, you can see it in the back. What the light is, is I took a clip-on light that I got for like, uh, about 10 bucks at Harbor Freight. It's, I think you can read that. And then it's uh, item number 67651. And it has a screw in thing. So I just took and undid the screw in part and that allowed me to, um, to screw it in in the back there. That's the, the, it's got a big aluminum cover that it comes with. And I cut that down until I got it to the point where it would fit. There was already a hole up there. I just had to file it a little bit. Was able to stick the light in through there and then screw that, that reflector on. And then that holds it in place. And that was a $10 fix to get this thing working. Um, I read reviews on this thing before I bought it that talked about the sandblaster and how it worked okay and then people replaced it and stuff so i bought a northern one to to put in it but i haven't had to put it in it yet so far this one's worked good um this fit as you can see it fits right onto my uh the end of my counter so i'm you know like everybody else i'm short of room so this works good you can fit about 35 probably 40 pounds of uh material in it and uh so far the dust collector's working great that I put together cost me, you know, Lowe's buckets are a little bit more than Home Depot. I think I paid five bucks a piece for the buckets, but they seemed like they would go to be together better. They were easier to cut, but uh, the dust collector is doing what it's supposed to be doing because otherwise you're filling your vacuum up with stuff. I've got a, a Home Depot rigid uh, shop vac. I bought this extra hose right here for uh, about 20 bucks, and then I got. So 10 bucks in the two buckets, the sign that I cut up was free, the PVC fittings, I got probably another 
um, probably about 10 bucks in it. So I got about 20 bucks in the bucket dust collector and then another 20 in the hose. So 40 bucks and I got a nice dust collector that I can unhook and stuff. I leave that one loose. That's an inch and a half going into around two inch. So it, it cause I figure inch and a half is a little small for the suction. Um, so that way it's sucking a little bit of air too, but this thing works good. And what's nice is the, the way this fitting is here to the other bucket, it just goes, as soon as you turn that thing on, it sucks together and there's not any leaks or anything. The suction holds it together and um, everything I kind of put in there, I used all thread, it's quarter inch all thread to space this circle off the bottom. I'd seen other ones where people had had the inlet up, up there. I didn't like that, didn't make sense to me. I thought it would work, would work better to have it come in here where the material can then drop into the other bucket and then has to come up, hopefully, and get sucked through there. It didn't make sense to have it right there with it. So that's my uh, little fixes to the Harbor Freight Sander and my bucket dust collector. Uh, I'll put some links up. Take care.